Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to get private WordPress plugins and themes pulling in through Composer. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress tutorials. Alright, let's jump into it. Alright, so two disclaimers here. So the first disclaimer is that this is a continuation of a video I did last week. So there is a link to that video right now up at the top of the screen. And um, it's about getting set up with Bedrock and getting that into a flywheel environment. So um, you watch that video, you'll get right to where we are right now. So if you've done that and you are ready to start going on this, the other disclaimer is that I am using GitHub and I have private uh, private repository. So I'm paying seven bucks a month or whatever it is to actually have private um, repositories. So that's the scenario that we're gonna be going in. Um, the other thing that I wanna talk about is kind of that what scenario we're trying to create here. So what we need is a private composer package to get installed um, through composer into our WordPress site. So the scenario might look like you have a multitude of sites and you want to install a plugin that is proprietary, something that's very specific to your business or something like you have, you're pulling in sensitive data and it's got APIs uh, and keys and all that kind of stuff in it that you don't want to share, but you do want it to be pulled in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new repository and this is going to be called my private plugin. It's going to be super, super secret, but we're also going to make it private. We're going to initialize it with a readme and we're going to create that repository. So once that repository is created, we can now clone it in. So I'm going to go to hyper and I'm going to just for simplicity's sake, I've got my bedrock uh, site right here. So we're going to just put it next to it. So we're going to get clone and we're gonna put this into my private plugin. So it's gonna clone that down. Um, oh, I know what I have to do. So this is another little mini disclaimer is that I have two different GitHub accounts, so I have to change the URL in order for it to select my right um, GitHub account. So I will change everything from github.com to github-personal. Yours is most likely gonna be just github.com in those URLs. All right, so we've got that, and now we have my private plugin. So the thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna CD or code into my private plugin, and we're gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code. So the thing that I want to pull up here is I want to create a new file called composer.json. So in the private package, whatever this may be, uh, you're gonna wanna have a composer.json. And so this is going to tell Composer that this is a Composer package. Um, we're gonna have our name up here and that's going to be our GitHub username and then the package name. So that needs to match what we just created. Also, we just have a, you know, a homepage for the plugin, which we're just gonna set to the same uh, thing. And then we've got type. So type is a WordPress plugin. So if we go and we open up our Bedrock project here and we look at some of the things that we're requiring, in the last video we required WordPress SEO and 2020. And those are getting pulled into the right directories because of these installer paths. Well, they have a type defined inside of their composer JSON that is either WordPress theme or WordPress plugin. So what we're doing over here is we are saying that this is a WordPress plugin, so please put it in the right directory when it gets installed. So after we've set that up, we are good to go here. Let's just open up um, my command line here. And let's do, let's see, get uh, let's get the status. We have our composer JSON. So let's get add composer JSON. Let's clear that out. Now we're gonna get commit. Uh, my first commit. We're gonna set that message. And then what we need to do next is we need to tag it. So like Composer packages that we see here, they are tagged, meaning that we're gonna actually have to start tagging whatever package we want to pull in. 
So we're going to get tag it to 1.0.0. And then so that now tells, you know, GitHub when we eventually push it, that this is the 1.0.0. So next we're going to do git push and we're also going to add the tags in there just to make sure that those get in as well. It's going to ask for my SSH password and then it's going to go it up there. So let's go back to GitHub real quick and we refresh and oh no, it's not there. Well, it really is. We just have to go into master or the branch and then go to tags and click into 1.0.0. And then now we have our composer.json. So we've done that. Now let's add another, you know, plugin file or something like that. So let's do my dash plugin. I don't know, it was my private plugin dot PHP. And then we just can add some, oh, some PHP tags. Let's close out this guy real quick. And let's just have the basics of a, of a WordPress plugin. So plugin name is my private plugin. And let's also say, hey, if um, we're not in the admin page, not is admin, then let's echo an H1 that says hello from the plugin. All right, so we're good to go there. And now we've updated our plugin. Um, but let's not actually change that yet. Let's actually, before we tag it, let's um, get the install process working. Then we'll come back, we'll version bump it, and then install it again. So stick around for that. All right, so what we need to do next is we now need to get our Bedrock site actually looking for that WordPress plugin. So what we're gonna do is we need to add a new type of repository to um, this uh, composer file. So right here we have a uh, repositories array and right now it's just looking at W packagist. And that's great because that's where these two plugins are coming from or that one plugin and one theme. And then, so what we're gonna add here is we are going to bring in Let's make sure this can get onto the same line. Maybe not. No. Uh, let's bring this out. There we go. All right. So this again would be github.com slash your username slash the plugin repository. So this has to happen for every single thing that you want to pull in that's private. So if you have four plugins, you're going to have to put this in there four times, each referencing the actual repository that you need it to. So since mine is awesome and I need to put in my personal thing in there to make it work, then that's what it's gonna look like for me. So after that, we can go down here to this require. So um, what we can do actually is we can go to the command line because this is even cooler, is that we can um, do composer require and then Alexander Young slash my private plugin. And so let's have it do that. And it should ask for me for my password, which it does. All right. So it asked me for my password again, but then it got um, installing Alexander Young, my private plugin at 1.0.0. So that's great, right? So if we go into our web folder, our app folder and our plugins folder, we now have my private plugin. So it just has that composer JSON in there and that readme that says super, super secret. So at that point, we're done and we have our plugin. But just to kind of take it a little bit further, let me show you like how I would, you know, update this, right? So what we can do now is we can go back and now we've added this my private plugin.php thing here. So I'm going to bring up my terminal and I'm going to say uh, git add everything and git commit my plugin file. And then we're going to get tag this at 1.0.1. And then we're going to get push and with the tags. It's going to ask me for my password. And then it should push it up. So let's go back to GitHub. Let's refresh. And now we should have a tag of 1.0.0. So that now has my private plugin in it. So if we go back to our um, other file here, and we let's take a look. It's got our my private plugin here. 
So let's explicitly bring in 1.0.1, and then we can run composer update because we want it to bring in the new version. It's gonna ask, ask me for my password again. It's gonna be updating the dependencies and now it is checking out the other stuff. I keep typing my password wrong. And then it should be good. All right, so now if we were to refresh this, and now we've got my private plugin. So let's go to Flywheel real quick. Open this guy up. We're gonna to go to Admin. And while that's spinning up, uh, we're gonna go in and actually activate our plugin to make sure that it works. So if we go to Install Plugin, we have My Private Plugin. This plugin is activated, so we're not getting any messages because we're in the admin screen. But if we visit the site, we get, oh, I typed in hell from the plugin. <laughs> so a uh, fun little mistake there, but yeah, so it works. We can actually version bump our stuff and we're all good. So now you can actually up, uh, bring in private plugins. You can do the same thing with theme. So that's everything. Um, if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new, all that good stuff. And uh, let me know in the comments if this is something that you, you'd actually use, if you find this helpful or just plain old confusing. And also make sure to let me know if there's any other future videos that you'd like me to make and cover certain topics. I'm happy to take a look at that. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate the support and I will see you in the next one.